few things. First of all, I put some brass tubing over the stock elevator gear. I realized that the thicker stuff that I had made and put Z-bins in would stress out the servo horn um, because it was too big of a diameter. So I decided to use the thin stock um, elevators linkages that are really too flexible and then what I did was I put this brass sleeving over it it runs up the entire length um, to add the strength and I decided that it wasn't needed for the uh, L the L rods because they're so short you can see the castle creations um, castle creations BEC inside of there um, for the opt the opto um, ESC that I have. I have a 120 amp, 125 amp ESC that I got from RC Timer for only $36, uh, not including ship or no, and then two dollars for shipping. This is my Futaba Fast system. This is my Matchbox. Um, it would have been impossible or nearly impossible without the JR Matchbox to be able to get the um, the three servos for the um, landing gear synchronized. With that said, it's not a cure-all. I had to do a lot of work on the, um, the servo horn and the linkage in order to get it very, very close. I had to put in some differences in dual rates when I put it on the fifth flap. Something that they don't tell you in the instructions is since I was using a toggle switch, when I had to adjust the, the end point adjustments on for various servos of the landing gear, the three servos of the landing gear, I would actually take and put it in the aileron one so that I could use the aileron control surfaces to set that and, and to also reverse it and then I would pull it out and put it back into the fifth channel that I have it in. Um, as you can see, I tried to make my wiring um, as neat as I could. I had to have a lot of servo extensions. And this is what I put on to match the 6S battery that I have. 